Hey, what's going on? It's me, Protogo. I'm totally not stalling because I forgot the mission title of this fucking map and we're not done loading yet. Hey, what's going on? How's everybody doing? This is Antioch Remastered, map eight or something. Darkest Thunderhead, hey! See, I knew it the whole time. All right, <clears throat> with the Zerg Air Forces crippled, Judicator Termalis can now take his fleet into the heart of the Whirlwind. Armed with the Emitter Scout, it's now time to strike against the Psy Cacoon, drained as the Protoss forces are. The battle will not doubt be fierce. Presumably no doubt. Uh, as they prepare for the attack, Judicator Termalis is... Doesn't need the second S there. Forces have made one final distressing discovery. Through all of their extensive cataloging of the Zerg, it has become clear that this cacoon is no natural creature. It can only be the result of Kafkaesque tinkering, but by whom? <laughs> you can't say Kafkaesque in a fucking StarCraft II campaign. Do you think anybody will get that reference? That's so absurd. I guess I did. I'm somebody. But I'm nobody. I'm just some, uh, I'm a manipulative, poisonous liar, dude. You can't, I'm not a person. The province of Scion has a, an N history. Thanks for letting me know. I'll be sure to bring some sunblock. Executor, our vindication is at hand. The Zerg Air Force has been scattered. The swarm's broken. Now is the time to take final action. We move against the very heart of the Zerg infestation. The central hive cluster which guards the source of their psionic field. The cocoon itself. We are rallying our troops even now as the rest of the fleet arrives. We will need every last warrior and scout that Antioch can spare for this foray, since the Zerg field will render our forces weaker than they have ever been. You speak the truth, Judicator, but alas, I can no longer aid you, since I am growing weaker by the very minute you are in the presence of this elusive force. I fear I will be able to help you. There is no cause for distress. You have already served the Conclave more than amply. Return to Japok, Brave One, and safeguard the teachings of Adun for generations to follow. You will be of greater use there. So be it, Judicator. May the Kama guide you all to swift victory. Our path is clear, Executor. We only need... Judicator, you receive an incoming transmission. Commander Charlie Mox to Protoss Horses. I repeat, this is Commander Charlie Mox to the Protoss Horses. Do you read? Do you read? We hear you, human, as well as the urgency in your voice. <laughs> that line gets me every time. What? with this information. What I don't understand about, like, the whole context of this briefing, and again, any anytime I, I'm, like, criticizing the plot or whatever, unless it's, like, the text that they add in the pre, like, the mission loading screens or whatever, it's not to do with this particular, like, rendition of the project, not to do with the remaster. Um, but why does Mox have, like, that crazy battle shit going on in the background? Like, it, I get, it's never commented on. 
Um, instead of saying, we hear the urgency in your voice, which should just be obvious from you, the voice acting, which does not sound particularly urgent, by the way. Uh, instead of that telling, like, you could just be like, you know, Termalis could be like, hey, what's going on? Why are, why are there gunshots and laser fire and, and what, what's going on in the background, dude? You okay? Everything good? That would be what I want to know. Like, I want to know what they're doing. And he never comments on it. It's like... It, it, it's not that he has to say, we are under attack, or we are in the middle of a battle, because that's what you get from the audio in the background. That's the story being shown to you, as opposed to being told to you. Uh, but there should still be some example of, like, who they're fighting. And at the very least, acknowledging that they're in the middle of, being like, attacking, instead of just, you know, just write it off. <laughs> it just seems so weird that they did that that way. Also, there's a really long-winded briefing on top of that. I feel like it could have been uh, just sort of sunken into individual moments. Like, I, I don't know. It felt like uh, it was... It, it overstayed its welcome. Destroy the Kelmorian forces. Hold the Zerg at bay. All heroes and the Emitter Scout must survive. Ayr. Province of Antioch. Wow, that's some serious texture work in this area. Holy moly. Okay... Okay, we still have 93, sh 93 shields instead of 90. Oh, wow, that was some serious gameplay right there. Holy moly. We gotta move. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's about right. Fire! Too easy. Oh, uh, good eye, mate. Just thought me and the boys would lend you a hand. Here to, how should we say, fry some serve, are you? Well, now that the hour is upon us... I see your point. Ugh. Welcome to the fray, Commander. Oh, he sounds so detached on top of it. Okay, so we have... Uh, turn base as well. With your supply limit is doubled to 400. I wonder how difficult it actually is to... Um, wait, where's our heroes? I gotta... I have to gather all of my heroes here. All of my Protoss heroes, anyways. Orin, Tremalis, I'm just going to interact. Okay. Uh, so we'll put that guy on that. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I had all my heroes in the right, right uh, order. Hey, this battle cruiser isn't damaged like it was before. It's, it's a nice nice change. <laughs> Alright, so this is a really big mess. I, I don't know what's going on. 3D really destroys readability. Uh... We have the we have some of the air fleet that we built in the previous mission, or maybe I'm missing one of the scouts. Yes, I am. So we have the exact air fleet that we built for like the victory condition. I guess it would have been neat, although it probably would have been unbalanced and subject to abuse, if we could uh, have sampled um, some of the like. Uh, oh, oh wait, why can't we build a what the fuck? Why can't we build a? carriers in this mission. Oh, why can't we keep our carriers alive in this mission more like? It's getting too hot. Got a smoke What's going on? Uh. Have the enemy. Hey, don't walk into your own field, will you? Okay, we're getting our dicks kicked in. Hey, don't suicide, please. Did we already lose carriers? No, we didn't. Just scouts. Okay. Let's not be Mark. Mark did that. Nobody will ever let him forget it. Okay, so... There we go. But, 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 yeah, I don't know why we can't or order up carriers. I don't know if that's, like, an intentional limitation. Maybe it was a limitation of the original map. Uh, for all I know, it was. Uh, okay, so we'll do this. Uh, I don't think there's an armory anywhere. So we'll go ahead and grab one of those. I also don't think they ever attack us from this angle. I'll just, uh... Scout around over here. I know that there's an easy expansion we can grab up here. I don't remember. There, there might be something up there, like some pre-placed units or something. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Okay, cool. I'm just trying to make sure we're... We're getting our bearings in this initial area. Oh shit! I made her scout, by the way. Alright, now we just gotta cheese it a few times. Okay. <laughs> That's spooky. Q. 
Can't say that. All right. Let's get some more zealots. Yeah, this this area seems to be under way more um, pivotal attacks or pivotal threats or whatever. We don't have the same AOE of capabilities. Uh, the Terrans are much better suited in that regard. Uh, so we'll be going for a mech army for the Terrans and an air army for the Protoss. That's how I'm going to handle this one. Um, I probably should have... I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and grab a, an academy. Right, it's a G. Ghost Academy. That also feels like a bug to me, you know? Hmm. Let's move these tanks back. And, uh... Let's also path these tanks this way. Oh, we have Storm Researched automatically. A little strange. It also costs more energy? That may have been an actual feature of the original. I could be wrong about that one. But it may have been a feature. may have been something that they did uh, in the previous version to, like, illustrate how... Uh, the... The, the power of the Protoss is waning. You really are supposed to use the, the Terrans in this campaign, I believe. Oh, okay. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just hanging. <laughs> I don't think you can do this in the original. Uh, at any rate, we'll have a Citadel of the Dune, we'll grab Leg Enhancements, we'll grab a Fleet Beacon, we'll grab a Templar Archives. We'll get these. Pull off a guy to repair. I don't think these ghosts are particularly important. Are we? I think we're fine. There's no big deal. Get him out of here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm hoping that the attacks scale up and I actually lose and I have to retry because obviously I'm not a great player. I think I've I've shown that pretty clearly in this uh, this project so far. Uh, I don't have a starport yet, so we'll go ahead and build one over there. And I'll start sending up extra SCVs in that area. I like the idea that we can have more than uh, 200, 200, but I think it's kind of... It feels like it's just a, a way to... Make the... I don't know, it, it feels kind of shitty that that's what they had to do to work around the limitation of StarCraft II in that respect. I'm, I'm assuming it's possible to have different kinds of supply costs, right? Maybe they didn't want to. Maybe they wanted to open you up so that you had more opportunities. And you could say, like, oh, I want to do all Protoss and I'll just use the Terrans for defense or vice versa. But I don't know. It feels um, unfortunate, I guess. All right. Uh, now we can make a science facility. It's E. It's an interesting one. Build model also lagged the shit out of me just then. Again, we're getting nukes. I don't know what's up with that one. Uh, we can also... Uh, we can build supply depots. Oh, okay. But, uh... Let me just make sure I'm not dying. Yeah, it looks like everything's going out. Ah! 3 HP, by the way. Wowie! Okay, all the heroes are getting put in the fucking corner. Get out of here. All right, let's get uh, let's get some more stargates. I'm setting up my base in a very dumb way, as is to be expected. I am me, after all. Let's get some zealots. Upgrade complete. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be mostly making pylons for supplies since they affect everybody. Now, all of a sudden, I can't build in water. Huh. Bye. Okay. I guess we'll just keep doing these. Okay. Sure, I'll get a covert ops. Yeah, I can't build battle cruisers either. That's weird. I wonder why they did that. Again, it, might, it may, in fact, be an original thing, you know, like a part of the original map. But 
so many of this project has been changed and it doesn't seem particularly consistent as to what makes the cut. If that makes any sense. Termalis, don't die. All right, cool. I think we're, we're all right. You know, we kept all of our carriers alive. We could probably just roll in here and now that we have some more upgrades. Well, let's make sure we're not getting killed here. Yeah, we're okay. I guess we could do a, a missile turret over here to help out with that anti-air stuff. We could also uh, afford to move this guy around. Okay. Uh, I don't know. What is the story? Whatever it is. Oh, actually, let's do this. Because we clearly need more AoE over here. Uh, wait. I wanted to get another shield upgrade, actually. That'll be what I spend most of my gas on. Gas accessibility definitely seems like it's going to be bothering us for a bit, but uh, I'm mostly able to just do whatever the hell I want to do. So we do actually have a nuclear missile armed. But uh, not a whole lot else going there. It doesn't seem to actually be doing, like... Nothing is happening as a result of it. If that makes any sense. We don't have access to an actual nuke. We would have to build a nuclear silo, so it definitely is a bug then. Go ahead and hunt you that. Research complete. We have a science facility for mobile detection, scanner sweep for when we're in a pinch, and we need a lot more gas. Hmm. I don't know about that one. I don't think we need to worry about that. Let's just keep getting uh, air upgrades. I think that's where we're gonna, where it's at, you know. Okay, so. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. No worries. <laughs> no worries. I didn't mean to use you, by the way. No worries. Get these guys out of here. So this is only really, I mean, the scout, the emitter scout isn't super effective against Terrans. Maybe it slows all enemies, I can't really tell. But, uh, I don't know. Now we're just absolutely destroying these guys. No fucking contest. I wonder if they'll... Uh, I, I assume they won't adapt, but I'm trying to, like, spitball ideas that would make this map more engaging. And I think it suffers from similar issues as the original, unsurprisingly, obviously, since it's an update to the original. But at least that, well, I don't know. I don't know about any at least. Like, uh, there's less, just by virtue of it being in StarCraft 2, there's going to be less, um... Like, less of a barrier of entry for a lot of this. Seems fine. Um... There's going to be less of a, a barrier of entry. It's easier to control stuff in StarCraft. You don't have as much. You don't have a selection limit, um, so you, you can make it harder. You know. I mean, I guess the issue here is that there is no difficulty slider, and for some reason, a lot of people feel like they they, they want it to be accessible. And if you're going to make that, you know, sacrifice, I guess, then well, you have to. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. If you're gonna if you're gonna do that, it's gonna be. You know, there's just gonna be some limitations to what ends up getting designed like that. Um, one of the sacrifices is that you won't be able to test the all of the difficulty levels as easily because it requires testing multiple maps. Uh, in this case, there is no um, difficulty slider. So, wow, what the hell? Why are there so many marines up here that weren't being used for defense? Very strange. 
Okay. Over here. Scouts are really fucking busted in this. Do they do bonus damage for this too? No. Weird. Just get rid of the uh, command center. Hmm. All right, I think the turns are done for. Now I remember the pro the Zerg rather being a lot harder to deal with. Um, not just because they spawn a bunch of bullshit, but just because of their overall design, I think. I don't know. It, it feels like there's a lot missing from this formula. I don't really know how exactly to describe it. The AI doesn't aggress you super hard. Uh, the counters are always the same, sort of, like, it's just... Are they still, uh, actually, that, they're still trying to attack me with what little they have, which is nice, because if I don't wipe their factories, that means that I still have to deal with them. It's not like they're just defeated or whatever. Which I guess would be, would happen if I destroyed all their combat units, because it's that they don't have any builders anymore. That's a nice resource still. But just, even if you take apart, like, those decisions to, um... Oh yeah, I can scanner sweep, right? Ah, they rebuilt some of this stuff, yeah. Ah, they have this expansion over here that they weren't mining from, I guess? I don't know if they're... They don't appear to be mining from it anyways. Alright. We can aim move with these zealots. Free up some of our, uh... Holy shit, look at our money! Ha ha ha! That's fucking absurd. Oh my goodness. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We just have to do a couple extra probes. Get him out of here. Uh, get out of here, Ahmed. Yeah, the, the... How embarrassing. Executor, the time has come for us to end this psionic storm once and for all. Oh yeah, I don't have any ground upgrades, of course. Oh, oops. I meant, to... I meant to do something. I don't know what I was meant to do. Alright, we did some preliminary scouting. We got rid of a single sunken colony. How the AI at? They still at zero upgrades. This late into the game. I don't know how. Oh, auto-targeting. Holy shit, that's way... Scout... Scourge are useless in StarCraft 2. Holy shit. Like, you have to be really brain-dead like what I just did there to even take any damage at all. That's, um... that That's the kind of thing is, like, you have to compensate, basically, with better numbers, <laughs> I guess. Uh... To... Or something to make those units more useful. There's just some units that are way more efficient in... Starcraft 2 compared to Starcraft 1. And it's usually just like fundamental shit about the pathing or whatever. Also, I'm draining all of their drones because I've killed a couple of structures, which is uh, a little strange. Okay, so you guys can come down here. Okay, let's do it that way. You guys can come over here. Okay. What's going on? Yeah, I just I just afk for a solid, like, minute, and, uh, I don't think I lost anything. I wasn't keeping track of the hockey, but... Oh, no. We must somehow bring the emitter to the cocoon itself if we are to end this. I can't remember if... Oh, is it just spawning a bunch of Scourge on top of itself, or what's going on here? I can't remember if, um... Uh, the... Original paused there, but that really takes me out of the gameplay like it totally took me out 
I would so much rather it just sort of like you they deliver the lines or whatever, you know what I mean? Uh attack over here. Are we, you guys gonna attack in here, or are you just sitting around, hanging? Yeah, we'll A-move this brown base anyways. Hey, what, what happened to my tanks? Did they fly into their own deaths or something? It looks like it, actually. Oh wait, no, they just didn't say any, do anything. They got stuck. That's what these transports are for. So we'll secure this expansion, even though we don't really need it, per se. Hmm. Yeah, you guys can hold. Don't be babies. Alright, so we lost a single scout. I was at 33, now I'm at 32. I just saw the scout die, too. Trying to keep track of that a little bit more. I don't know why. It's not really super significant. Obviously, we've completely wiped the floor with these guys. We have so much money. Absurd amount of cash. I guess this map looks better than the uh, couple, of, the last couple of missions, but I, the texture work on the ground is really lackluster. Not a whole lot going on there. Could, it, could serve to be a lot more dynamic, I guess. But, like, this is what I expect out of a remaster, right? It's not this map to be clear. I'm talking about, like, improved visuals to some degree, not Blizzard remaster, like, actual remaster, like, make it look good. I mean, there's just so much you can do that wasn't really done here. Oh, no, we lost two more scouts. But... So we'll wipe out these, uh, Outer lying defenses and try and pick out their sources of their uh, production so we can stop their units from coming at us. At least ostensibly. Where are our 3 3? Yeah. Not that shields matter too much. I, met, I put such an emphasis on upgrading shields and they're completely worthless, by the way. Forgot to mention that one. Hey, don't fight that, please. Uh, let's see. Didn't I have to expand in, like, that lower area in the run of the original? That, If so, that's pretty embarrassing, I guess. I don't feel like my scouts have upgraded movement speed. It doesn't look like they do. I wonder if that's even enabled. Uh, so this is where we need the science vessel that I built. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade its science vessel energy. And we'll take these two, spin them around. All right, here's one of their productions, production structures. All right, sure, kill it. Hmm. We're still getting attacked by like. Like, the, the AI would much rather, uh... Holy fucking spore colony range, by the way. Oh, wait, no, it's probably attacking my interceptors and not the carrier. I just got paranoid looking at the carrier's HP. Holy fucking hit scan, Batman. Alright, let's just clear these static defenses so we can actually get around here. Alright, let's up, up. See you later. I like how shields recharge so fucking fast, but it's just because they don't have any shields. Uh, yeah, stuff just happens so much faster. Battle is so much quicker in StarCraft 2, so you really have to be on on top of things with your unit balance. And obviously Antioch made a lot of shit. Well, in this map in particular, Protoss units were just fucking nothing. They didn't, bear, they didn't exist, essentially. All right, so there's that Spire gone. Uh, that Ultralisk gone. Thanks for coming by. See you later. Go to the Hydralisk gun. Upgrade 
Are they spawning these units in? How are they building them so fast? Maybe that was an attack wave or something. Or supposed to be an attack wave. Alright. Well, I think at this point the actual victory trigger is just a formality. What is that supposed to be? Oh, okay. Oh, they rebuilt everything. Holy shit. Some bullies. <laughs> Do a little dance. Say a little ha. Huh? Bye. Alright, I think we've done it. I hope we've done it. I'll double check in that other spot to make sure, but pretty sure. Pretty sure it's all over. Then we can end the map. End the campaign, actually. There's like a cutscene map at the end. Make sure they aren't regenerating this. Yeah, doesn't look like it. So for all intents and purposes, they've been uh, dealt with. Right? Scan. Oh, there was an expansion over here the whole time. That's interesting. Okay, so now here's where things kind of get dumb. Oh, I think I have to actually stasis this. That was like how you're supposed to do it. At least in the original, I'm pretty sure. You're supposed to stasis it, and that's how you win. So this is way easier than the uh, previous mission, actually. Like, I don't even think it's a, a contest. Can you guys stop attacking, please? Okay, so we're gonna path over this. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to do it. We'll come in here with the zealots as well. Yeah, we did it. Bye. Now that is what I call garbage. Okay, man. Oh, come on, mate. That was in bad taste, and you know it. Commander, Executor, the tides have turned. Already our strength is returning. The Zerg that are left here will present little threat to us now. We have succeeded. They used all the same mineral field types for <laughs> the, that area. That's kind of weird. I don't know about that one. Well, I mean, there really wasn't a whole lot to that mission. Pretty easy to uh, deal with. Um, I think I said it best when I was talking about how, you know, what I wanted out of the remaster. Oh, I never finished my points. So I, I guess I didn't say it best. Um, what I want out of a remaster, when I look at a remaster, is I think, okay, make the original, uh, fix some of its flaws, all of its flaws, as many flaws as you possibly can. Uh, but what this is doesn't feel like a remaster. It's more of a port. But then it's advertised as a remaster. So it feels more like a marketing thing than a an actual commitment to what you would expect out of a remaster. Um, it doesn't improve visuals, right? There's not a whole lot of effort placed into using the correct models, for example. Like, like the Legacy of the Void models have been out forever, and they look way better than the user-made stuff. Uh, despite being Blizzard's own work, they are still superior to some mod, some modders, some modelers or whatever from the community. So I would much rather see those. And then we have, oh, that that's great. So then we have the um, the the overall feeling of the campaign. It's like you know some things are different, some things are very very faithful. So it's inconsistent. It, I don't really get the whole idea that you know I, I get the idea that the first three missions went off and they were like well. You know, these missions were easy to make faithful, but the fourth map is where there was a huge di divergence, and maybe they felt like it wasn't easy to make that faithful, or as faithful. Um, but they cut out one of the macro sections when they re changed that, and they instead they like made a bunch of infested Terran micro stuff. Also, Kalmorian with two A's. I, I don't know. There's 
there's like a, a distinct lack of consistency with this project. It's not just that there's some elements of it that are good and some elements of it uh, that are bad, and those are consistent things that you can count on. That's actually the opposite of the case. So I don't really know what I would um, what I would offer up as a as actionable feedback for this particular mission. But overall, I think there has to be a consistent point where you say, okay, we are going to either be as faithful as possible while porting this project to a new platform, or we are going to change things and update things and make things better and iterate on this project. And considering they later released a campaign in this project's universe, Antioch's third episode, I sort of expected more changes. And the changes that I got, I didn't feel were particularly positive, but at least they were along the lines of changing something and, you know, sort of retooling the existing vision with a new vision and trying to balance those out. And regardless of whether or not that effort was successful, at least I could see that that effort was there. I've been more than fair with this project. I have never, I, I don't really think you can point to something and, and say that I'm completely, like, it's impossible to understand where I'm coming from, even if you don't agree with my commentary. Like, I try to source my opinions and explain why I feel a certain way. And I've handled this with kid gloves. I could have exp I, I could have gone off on a lot more uh, tangents, and I would have been completely within the realm of reason in doing so. And I really want this I, I want projects to succeed. I want custom campaigns to succeed. But I can't look at this as a success. Um, it, it, I don't really see it as a success. I see it as uh, a port that is very inconsistent and delivers a lower quality experience at, overall, with the, you know, the exception of some missions, I suppose. But overall, it's a lower quality experience than just playing the original in StarCraft 1. And it's not because the original had some quality that was necessarily lost in this port. It's because StarCraft 2 is an inferior platform. Work was not taken. Uh, measures were not taken to make use of the advantages that StarCraft 2 offered. You know, like there was Babby's first MOBA abilities. And that was basically all we saw. We saw abilities added to heroes. Uh, we didn't really see a whole lot of anything else. Um, obviously, AI is a, a big lackluster element of StarCraft II, uh, but there are some things that you can do, especially in the micro sections. I expected way more transformative changes, or at the very least, ways to keep the initial gameplay, original gameplay intact as much as possible. And yet they still changed a bunch of stuff, but not, not to a point where it was super substantive. It actually made it a lot easier, uh, a lot more casual friendly. Um, certainly more accessible, like the uh, micro mission inside the station in uh, in the broken glass. That mission is way easier. So I don't know. I, I there's a lot of work that could be done here, and I hope that I've given some useful feedback to the developers if they so decide they want to go back and update stuff, like using the the easy stuff that would take them very very little time, like using the Legacy of the Void models for the Queen, the Defiler, the Dragoon. Um, you know, maybe toning down the particle effect around Sun Goku Nurok's head. Uh, you know, th there's a bunch of different things that they could do that would, like, very quickly and easily raise the bar of quality a little bit. And then there are things that are more involved, like retooling missions and things that they want, they should, ha they have to do if they want to make their campaign really stand out and really, like, next level quality. And, I mean, either that or they just retool the missions to be more faithful ports and then they can be satisfied with that. But... Uh, it was neither. It was neither a faithful port, nor was it a, an upgrade over the original, insofar as you can call it a remaster. So that, those are my final thoughts on it. We'll watch the cutscene in another video, and then I will say my closing piece if there, I have anything else to say. So thanks for tuning in, and if you happen to take umbrage with anything that I say in this series or any other future series, let me know. Comment on it, or reach out to me privately if you don't want to make a public scene about it. I will love to... Discuss this stuff with people. I, I always love to discuss with this stuff with people. Um, you know, even people whom I associate with on a regular basis, we often come to disagreements about stuff and you, hashing those out and at least trying to see each other's viewpoints, even if we don't end up coming to a mutual agreement about stuff, is really ex an enjoyable experience to me. And I think it's a meaningful one as well. So you might be surprised if you reach out to me and you ask me some questions and you say, hey, uh, can you clarify your stance on this? Or, hey, I disagree with you on this. Maybe we'll come to some agreements, or at the very least, maybe you'll understand why I feel that way, and I'll understand why you feel your way. And we can all live happily ever after and coexist in the wonderful scene of StarCraft custom content. All right. Bye.